What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the fourth episode of Noblesse. This one is titled Spiderweb slash Long Fall. Interesting. Um, I don't know how literal Long Fall is meant to be, or if it's a fall from grace, that sort of thing. But anyway, Spiderweb could be, well, Spiderweb's not going to be literal. It's going to be like a spiderweb as in a trap, I guess, something like that. Or a network, like a web network, something type deal. Who knows? Um, so yeah, last time... Uh, we, uh, reconvened with our Hit Squad Union Elite Forces, uh, whatever they're, whatever they are, I think they're called DA5, I believe. Um, we introduced a few of our individual members, like Shark and Hammer, who went and specifically went out hunting for M21 after they located him, thanks to, uh, what was the name of the hacker? I forget. I don't remember the name of the hacker. Do we have his name listed here somewhere, maybe? Um, because it's Krantz is the leader. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Interesting. Is that... I don't know who that is. Tao, that's the one, I believe. Yes, uh, I believe Tao is the name, the hacker. Um, so... I really enjoyed his scene with, um, uh, Malibu. Uh, because Manabu, uh, his uncle works for the police, and uh, he was trying to hack into the police, and Manabu was like, oh, no, you don't, and they had a little thing going on, and then comedic exchange after the power cord got pulled out, which somehow your laptop had 0% battery that it immediately turned off as soon as the power cord went out. I mean, maybe he doesn't have a battery pack in that laptop for whatever reason, but if... I don't know why you wouldn't have a battery pack in there. Maybe he needed space for storage or maybe uh, a dedicated GPU in it. But it looked like a gaming laptop more than anything, just in the way the, the back plate was designed. It seemed like it was designed more for having having some extra ventilation in there as well. So I don't know. Um, but it was a funny bit for the joke and all this. Uh, as well as the funny bit of apparently uh, now his friend... Uh, blah, 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 let me see if I can remember his name. Um... It's Han Shin Wu in uh, this version, but it's not actually his name. What is his actual name in the uh, in, in well, not the English, the Japanese? Uh, Tashiro. There we go. Yusuke Tashiro. Um, yeah, he now suspects that Manabu is gay uh, because of his obsession with uh, Regis, and now seemingly uh, a twenty-four-year-old guy that he has apparently met up with and. Has given gifts to and all this. Uh, don't don't use someone else's computer like that. That's not a, it's not a good way of uh, building up a friendship. Uh, it's a good way of tearing one down though. And um, so yeah, after that scene together, we have more uh, comedy scenes between the uh, weird group of characters who are with Rai, Regis, Sarah. Sarah has been surprisingly quiet so far. I feel like there's going to be something with her character coming soon-ish, maybe. I feel like she's ha said very little so far, or had any character so much built in there. Uh, but uh, Regis and M21's banter back and forth is always fun. Um, as is Frankenstein uh, and uh, uh, Rise. Uh, but we did finally have uh, Hammer and Shark getting M21. Uh, he resisted at first, but as soon as... Um, Oh, what's his name? I just said his name. Uh, Krantz. As soon as Krantz shows up, um, yeah, he he kind of gives in. And with Regis and Sarah both watching, goes along with them willingly. Which, despite Regis seeing him, like, putting up a fight against them, he still is very suspicious of M21. I think he's just very, like, he's very set in his ways and he just can't see anything else. He's like, there must have been a reason why they were fighting first, and now he's going with them, they're plotting something, blah blah blah. You get the idea. Um, so, eventually it'll drop that M21 isn't actually the bad guy in all this, uh, but it'll probably take him a while before that happens. Um, so I guess we'll see, this episode is mainly going to be, I assume, M21... Um, I assume M21 uh, getting... Well, he's probably going to use this to get some information out of the Union. Uh, whether it's going to end with him amicably... amicably? There we go. Splitting away from them, or if he's going to have to fight his way out, I don't know. If Rai's going to get involved, I don't know. Uh, so far, Rai's been very passive in most of the events of this uh, this anime, it would seem. 
not necessarily a bad thing. Don't want to be overly involved, of course, but wouldn't mind a bit more Rai action at this point. Um, but yeah, we're going to get into this episode, I assume. Yep. All right. So as per usual, these are time-based reactions. So bottom left of the screen, uh, you're going to see the time of the episode. I'll count you down three to one play. Now on play, you start the episode. I start the episode and we'll be in sync. Um, we have the Crunchyroll Originals logo and then the Crunchyroll and Webtoon Partnership uh, text at the beginning. So roughly eight seconds of logos for those of you who are watching different versions or want to know that sort of information. Uh, you can also use screen flash either on my face or on the mic to tell when scenes are transitioning. I've been messing around with my uh, webcam settings and my rendering settings a lot recently. Um, I realized yesterday in the shows I did yesterday that um, I made a change that made the screen flash and stuff much less apparent, which whilst it looks good for overall video quality, uh, doesn't help you guys as much. So I've reversed it back to the old settings, well, old-ish settings, uh, so that uh, I still get that little bit of um, improvement in quality, but can maintain the screen flash on the mic especially. So, with all that said, let's get into this week's episode in 3, 2, 1, play. Crunchyroll. Originals. Then Crunchyroll Webtoon Production. And here we go. Uh, yep. Gonna have that RGB. All right, here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pulled up all information. Okay. That's scary how easy that is. <laughs> Alright. Very lighthearted considering what's happening here, but you know. Uh I mean, this OP is better than the Awakening OVA. I'll give it that, but the Awakening OVA didn't have any lyrics at all. But this is not the type of OP I would put on my playlist. I can still appreciate it for what it is. Still haven't met you yet. Or you. A bunch of the other nobles that we haven't met. Well, I say bunch, two. Alright. Here we go. So for spiderweb slash long fall. Hmm. It's gonna be interrupted more than likely. Yep. <laughs> yep. Who is it though? Oh it's these two, okay. <laughs> Oh, she's actually speaking for once. Oh. Sure. Sure. Mm-hmm. Well, the Union. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Now you're doubting him. Yep. But do you think M21 was lying? Yep. As willing as he was, it didn't seem to help. Right. They want information on that. How honest will he be? Okay. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. You have the upper hand here, technically. Mm-hmm. Seems likely. Of course. Mm-hmm. But you still have to make it believable. Just because they're desperate doesn't mean they're going to throw away all reason. Oh. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, not totally ruthless people, well, at least not all of them. Okay. Okay, wants knowledge as well. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Interesting. Well, you gotta know what he's asking for. Okay, hierarchy. Nice. Okay. Interesting that's off limits. They don't have it to give, fair enough. Oh. Oh ho ho. But that would that would require digging into the union. Hmm. <laughs> Of course it was ramen. What? Of course it's ramen. It's always ramen. It's always goddamn ramen. Oh, these two. Hmm. Developing our uh, villains a bit. Odd scene. I feel like there's more there from the webtoon that probably got cut out, but that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Mm hmm Okay. Hmm. 
<laughs> Truly do not understand human ways, do you? Oh! Offline meetup. Hello. Hmm, I wonder how that's gonna go. Oh, interesting. Of course he go into me immediately. But I think about it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I don't know if there's an ulterior motive here or not. Hmm. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. And there's... This is all a ploy. That. Ah. Hmm. Oof. Shot down immediately. That fake Japanese. Well, it's Japanese, but like the... Nice body. <laughs> okay. Okay, they are getting on well. This is odd. I don't know what to think of this. I get the feeling I'm about to be betrayed, but... I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> Anarchy, okay. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. This is not how I expected the story to go. Mm-hmm. Second time we mentioned the sister. Okay. Okay. Hmm. It's a weird exchange. It's 
register with Exchange. I get the feeling there was some other purpose behind that, but. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Hmm. It's not a deal, just like doing something for a friend. Hmm. Hmm. Eee, okay. That's the deal. Okay. Thematic wind for moving the hair. Hmm. Didn't expect that to be the focus of this episode. Hmm. Oof. I don't think you could. Hmm. No. You really think he's going to be that coordinated to do that? I mean... Yep, that'll be on you. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Shark is like the uh, typical evil. Whereas these ones are more like... If he's chaotic evil, these are more like lawful evil. I don't know about lawful, but... Hmm. Mm. Not even this elite squad is as uh, coordinated as you might imagine. Hmm. Keep it together as long as you can. Nice. <laughs> well... Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, boy. Did they go get to M21 through the people he's associated with? And of course, you know, it's first. Hmm. 
Somehow I don't think it's going to work out for you, Shark. Ooh. Ho oh, oh. ho. Yep. <laughs> um eh, one of not the highest one though oh shit who's getting involved oh interesting popping a pill oh boy okay Jesus Christ, that's a form. Whew. Yeah. <laughs> they could have named that better. This is the power of D. Uh, the jokes write themselves. Friends. Immediately. Yeah. But. Going through them. Actually does care about them to an extent. Okay, that's good. Yep. Here we go. This is going to be a pretty big point of conflict now. And that's a cliffhanger, isn't it? Shit. Shit. Should have seen that one coming. Should have seen that one coming. That they end it on that, of all things. Well, that was a good episode. I did not expect the inner conflict within the like the Union elite force. I didn't expect them to go that route with it. But I do like that they did, because it makes them more complex as characters. Because when you have an amalgamation of... One, two... What was that? Six different characters? Or was it five? Five or six different characters that all come together to form the this group that serve the Union. It's much more interesting when they all have different stories and different reasons for why they're there, and if some of them aren't necessarily in full support of the Union, such as uh, uh, one guy with his little sister being held captive and as a reason for keeping him there. And then Hackerboy, is his name Tao? Is Tao Hackerboy? Or is Tao the other one? Can't remember. Um, he seems to be just more normal than the rest of them, which is interesting. Also, did Rai say anything this episode? I don't know. After credits. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Now they know. Control and webtoon, blah, blah, blah. Yep, we get it. Okay. So, yeah. Um, they are immediately aware that something's happening. I wonder if they're going to come crash the party. 
it already feels like we're building up to a big conflict already. Like, I expected the Rai versus uh, DA5 conflict. I expected that to be, like, an uh, end-of-season conflict. Maybe it still will be. But it looks like we're going to be meeting them a lot, lot sooner. Now, whether they actually do intervene, or if uh, M21, Regis... They're going to reconcile here, I think. I think this is the arc of the story where... Or the part of this arc where uh, Regis and M21 finally understand what's going on between them. And he can kind of let go of his predetermined notion of what uh, M21 is and is trying to do. And can then move forward and work in conjunction with him to escape the situation. Now, those two alone versus the entirety of DA5, I don't think is going to work. So I think Rai and Frankenstein and Sarah will need to intervene in some way. However... They're not, they're not likely to be going up against the entirety of DA5, because uh, I believe it's Tau. Yep, Tau, the hacker, is... Um... Yeah, he's conflicted because of uh, Malibu's involvement now. He's going to be a little conflicted. Um, Takeo, I believe, is the um, other one. The one with the sister, I believe. I think I'm. I think that's the right one. Um, I don't know where he's going to stand on this. I mean, he just got to know. Um, he just got to know them as well, Sarah. And well, he doesn't see Sarah there, I suppose, but he does see. Um, oh, what's his face? I'm gonna uh, Yusuke. Was his name Yusuke? I don't remember. I don't. I can't remember his name. His name is just one that just completely blanks from my head every single time. Um, Tashiro. Yusuke Tashiro. I need to drill that into my head. I cannot remember his name for the life of me. I can remember Manabu. I can remember Rai. I can remember Regis and Sarah. I just can't remember Tashiro. 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 I, I'll drill that into my head eventually. Um, but yeah... Um, Because he sees Tashiro there, maybe he'll be conflicted as well. In which case, in that scenario, it would be Regis, M21, uh, Tau. I don't know how Tau is combat-wise. I don't think he could really resist in much way to Shark or Hammer. Or Krantz, if Krantz shows up as well. Was Krantz there at the uh, ending there? Let me just double check. Uh, yes, Krantz was there leading them both down. Okay. So yeah, so it'll still be M21 Regis, um, uh, what's his face, Taco Woods, Taco does have combat experience and seems to be capable of fighting, so that would make it free, and then it would just be Shark, Hammer, and Krantz. So it would be a fair 3v3 fight before Rai, Sarah, and all that lot come here as well. So it's not looking so bad for them in this situation. Question is if they are going all out fight uh, to escape, or if they're going to try and talk their way out of it in some way. Will be remains to be seen. But uh, yeah, yeah, this is all to um, threaten M twenty one to give up the information without having to concede any information. Which I don't know why Shark's so opposed to. Why is Shark so vehemently opposed to M21 getting information about stuff? Perhaps he doesn't like the fact that M21 is seemingly getting above his station as just an experiment. Like, perhaps he feels threatened by M21 being of a higher status or higher importance in some ways. Perhaps he feels threatened in that way. Just doesn't like someone being above him like that. Um, maybe that's just part of Shark's personality. Hammer just seems to be along for the ride, and just be like, yeah, I'll, I'll do this. He's constantly eating as well. Like, every... Has there been a scene of him in this show where he's not been eating? I don't think so. He stopped eating when, uh, he was asked to give uh, M21 food, and of course M21 said ramen. It's always ramen. Um, has to be. You know it's a Japanese show. Um... But, um, yeah, 
This is... I like how this is different because the main character, Rai, is not important right now. At least so far, he, what he does and what he interacts and how he does, everything about him is... That's the side bits. Like, our side characters are our main characters for the sake of this arc, which I find very, very interesting. We kind of had Rai being the protagonist um, throughout uh, the Awakening OVA, of course. Um, so I quite like the way they've done this in developing our side characters, giving M21 a spotlight as his story, essentially, bringing up our side characters, supporting him, and eventually I expect Rai will show up and just be like, okay, now it's my moment to step in. But I'm, I'm, I'm glad the show's not afraid to just put him on the back burner. Like, we don't force him into every scene just to make it seem like our main character is important. It's like, well, he is the main character, but we don't need him in every single scene and involved with every single story thread that we lay out. It is a change of pace, and I can appreciate that. Um, I do find myself wanting a little more out of him, though. I feel like maybe they're being a bit too light on his content, aside from comedic moments, but I guess we'll see what happens. Um, it's been an interesting show. I'm still very much into it. I kind of want to know what's going to go on with this uh, conflict here. Um, I don't know if there's much of a greater story thread right now that I'm trying to think of. Like, it's the Union wants the coffin and the noblesse. Right, and they just they just don't know the truth. And so far, it's not like Rai is trying to serve a greater purpose here. He's just he's just existing. He's just trying to live his life now, essentially. Um, and he's just doing it because his friends are getting involved with it, and people are after him. That's the only reason Rai is even bothered right now. It's not like a huge story that's trying to unpack here. They've kept it on a relatively small scale, and they're making it interesting. Relatively speaking. I'm sure there's going to be another story thread that accelerates, and maybe we start digging into our other characters like, okay, are we ever going to find out what happens to the sister? Uh, is that a plot thread that we're going to follow at some point? Uh, will the Union realize that Rai is the noblesse? I guess we'll wait and see. But uh, they're, they're doing very well with the cliffhangers so far on this show, I feel like. I feel like every episode has had a cliffhanger of sorts to it. Which is uh, horrible for us, for those of us watching on a weekly basis. Uh, for those of you who are binge-watching this after, and are watching this series after, and watching the reactions along with it, now that the series is like fully out, it, it's not so bad. It's, it, it's good to keep you watching and keep you hooked and binging. But for weeklies, it's, oh, it's infuriating. But that's the name of the game, so fair play to them. Uh, but that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this one as per usual. Leave a like if you did. Uh, it helps grow the channel out, as do your comments. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode, as well as the rest of the fall 2020 that you can find on my channel. You guys have been so supportive uh, this season, uh, and every season I've been doing this, obviously. But <clears throat> this season especially, we hit our 400 sub goal for the end of the season in the first month. So thank you everyone for that. So let's try and hit 500 by the end of the year. That's our new goal. Uh, it's subs are going to slow down now that we're like getting towards the mid-season. Uh, less people are going to be jumping on boards to the channel in the middle of an anime season as opposed to the start and end. So it will be a tough ask, but I think we can do it. So thank you everyone for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.